All right, well, I'm gonna make a quick one on this. Uh, it's gonna be how to make a strut tower bar for just about any car that you want. Um, we'll just keep this pretty simple. As long as you get a welder, grinder, uh, something to cut some metal with, you'll be able to do this. So First things first, to make this real simple, is uh, you're gonna need some tube, obviously. You're gonna take some tube, cut it to length. I usually cut them tall to start with. We're gonna cut these off afterwards. Uh, weld washers to the bottom of the tubes, and then you bolt them down with your uh, stock strut bar, or bolts. And now, uh, now we're gonna design. Obviously, we're gonna have our main bar from here to here. Um, one of these, you know basically as i'm too short so i'm gonna have to come back either way um and then we're gonna go from there so we're gonna get this bar on here and then we're gonna start running more bars uh but i can't film and do this at the same time so i will be right back all right i got that notched up on there tacked we'll finish welding it all up after it's uh ready to be done so now the bar's in obviously nice and strong like I said, I had to lengthen that one a little bit. I'll grind it down, make it look nice after. I mean, you could be simple now, and then, well, we'll demonstrate. A little easier, you could take a bar from here to there in the center, or you could do fancy stuff. I guess I'm gonna do fancy stuff. So I'm gonna go from there to there on both sides. Um, I already have a piece of flat stock here that was left over from the transmission mount and I'm gonna come across the firewall here with those bolt holes drill some holes use the bolt holes and then we're gonna come back like I said at an angle here and we're gonna get those pipes in and then we're gonna add a few more so let me get this uh, piece of flat stock all drilled cut the length and all that and we'll get that mounted on there and then we'll all right so i've got some metal cut put a plate across the back here just a couple m6 nuts are going to go there kind of center uh the measurements are going to be off just a little bit um these are exactly the same length i've cut them and they're going to let's see if i grab the right one or two boy this is kind of difficult with one hand all right so I'm trying to zoom out and show you at the same time um, so we're gonna hit this stud down here and hit that up there like towards the top a little bit the same thing on the other side and then we'll be triangulated I'm trying to zoom out and hold it and all that stuff so I'm gonna tack this and then I'll show you because this is uh, kind of hard to hold this and do it but yes both of those are cut the same length. So regardless if they're the same length and I'm welding them up there, my marks mean nothing because they're both 45, they're both a notch the same. They're gonna land center, you know what I mean? You can't go one way or the other with it. So uh, let me get these tacked on there and then we'll show you uh, where we're at. All right, I got those tacked up. Uh, I got a raging headache now, so we'll see how much farther we get tonight, but uh, that's all tacked up, like I said, triangulated. Now, like I said, cutting other braces to go in here and notch them. So I gotta tack that and tack that. And then we're gonna have that triangulated. Now after, I'm going to then possibly come from here to here. Um, you can't really see the angle at it, but this is at a pitch. So that'll put an angle here. And then what I'm thinking is, well, maybe order some dimple dies later. Um, later on, put a piece of metal in here for the most part and then dimple die some holes in it. And uh, maybe, we'll see. I, and I'm thinking maybe possibly a bar here for aesthetics, we'll see. Um, like I said, I mean, it's pretty much 
open to interpretation once you're doing this. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, like I could put another one in here, whatever, but I think I'm going to triangulate there to there, which will be at a downward slope. So it'll look pretty cool, I believe. We'll see. Um, and then like I said, I gotta do something with this plate. So I don't know if I'm just gonna put something from here to here or not. We'll see um, as we're getting into this a little farther. So let me tack this side in and then I'll start working on the other side, get that tacked in and then we'll get these trimmed down. Make sure the hood closes. That's a big one. So uh, yeah, let me get these tacked in. All right, I'm back. Uh, next day, uh, after the ma raging migraine went away, uh, I got a little bit ahead in the video. So I got this all tacked in. I've got this triangulated all tacked in. Now I cut this bar and it's gonna go right along here. As you can see where it is, one inch spacing. And then uh, let me get this tacked in because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this look like a standard like strut bar and then uh, with this added on. So let me get that tacked in and then we'll show you where I'm going with this. Um, obviously uh, you can see it's starting to look like something instead of just a random bars here and there and there and there. So like I said, it's an open book. You can do whatever you want. Um, I just, the single bar crossed was kind of bothering me um, just because it was just looked like one of those cheap eBay friggin' things with a single bar. So let me get this tacked in and then we'll start working on the next couple of pieces here. All right, I uh, burned that in a little bit and uh, started making the next piece and cut down a little bit of the strut bar. Um, so this is where we're at, we got this. And I gotta make this last little piece, it kinda sucks because there's like a 45 up and then a 45 across. So a little cutting and doing flap disking and stuff like that. Um, but these aren't permanent yet. I just cut them down to make it welding a little bit easier on this um we still got another bar to do back here as well we're just gonna go bing bing tighten that down as you can see it's all bolted down now i'll round these corners off and make that nice on both sides afterwards but the big thing is is we're just fabricating right now we're not worrying about aesthetics until we get to that point of cleaning stuff up but uh as i said it's an open book you can do whatever you want i mean i, I could have took another bar and come over here you know um, same thing over there. I could come off to here, to here, or whatever around this bullshit. <laughs> Excuse my French, I guess, or whatever we want to call it. But uh, let me get this all cut up and uh, down, and then we'll uh, start seeing, you know, like I said, you got to make sure your hood closes because you can do whatever you want. If your hood doesn't close, then... I guess you're SOL and starting over again. So let me uh, get that last bar in, uh, in the front and then uh, decide what I wanna do if I wanna plate this or if I wanna put like another par like in between here and in between here at the same angle as this. Um, now we're just getting out of control. But <laughs> I mean, as, as it is, this, this will do its job. This ain't going anywhere. I mean, I can, rock the car around and everything else on it. Um, I could probably stand on it right now and it's barely even fully tacked. So let me get that last bar in. Well, here we are. Like I said, got this other bar in and uh, cut this down. So the next thing is to get this last bar in back here and uh, then we're going to check, make sure the hood closes and make sure we're not screwed here. Uh, don't foresee an issue, but uh, you never know. You never know. I did check a couple times beforehand with just the front bar on and it closed, but we got the rest of this going on now. So let me uh, get this rear bar cut. Um, since I didn't really show much of it in the video, I uh, laid it on here, got my angles, set them with a marker, and I'm just going to come over. I was doing a lot of it with the bandsaw, but uh, this is substantially faster with a death wheel on it. Um, because you don't really cut straight down at a 45, you kind of angle 45s on both sides and that way you get your actual notch in it to fit the pipe. Um, you can always hit that, hit it with this afterwards to get even more, or a lot of times I like to use a flat disc cause it's a lot faster. So pretty much all the tools you're really going to need, cut off wheel, whatever, 
Sawzall, anything to cut metal with um, and notch it, and any sort of welder. I'm using the TIG on this just because I don't want to blow sparks everywhere right now. And that's the biggest thing too. Metal stretches and pulls when you weld it. Some people don't realize that. So that's why I'm welding it on the car because then it's going to stay where it is. I'm trying, like, trying to get most of the welds most of the way done and around. Obviously, I'm going to have to do the bottoms. But uh, after that, I'll take it off, bring it over to the table, weld up the rest of it. Um, I might just blast the bottom side of the MIG just to be faster. Um, I'm very impatient. So, I mean, my welds could be a lot prettier looking, but uh, half of my battle is I'm always in a rush and uh, whatever. And the biggest thing with uh, taking, you want to slow down, have your stuff clean um, and be comfortable. A lot of this, I was very uncomfortable um, sitting in the engine bay, leaning over it and uh, contortioning myself. So that, that's a big thing that makes it a pain in the ass too. So let me get this last bar cut up and in. And then uh, we'll check this hood close fitment and all that good stuff. All right, we got that last bar in. And this is what we look like. Nice and clean. All that good stuff. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. It's that easy. Well, I guess it's not easy, but you'll never do it if you don't try it. So all I can do is say is do it. So let's see about this hood uh, ordeal here. So... We should be good. There we are. Perfecto. All right, so no issues here. It's done. Well, not done, done. Oh boy, now I can't get this with one hand. But uh, all pretty much uh, fabbed up. I gotta burn the bottom side in, still obviously, and uh, clean it up. And then either sand it down. Well, I gotta sand it down anyways to get all the coating off the steel. Um, you know, clean these up a little bit. You know, it's all clean up now. And then uh, either have it painted or powder coated. Um, I mean, powder coat's obviously gonna last a lot longer. Uh, this would probably be a little bit to have powder coated, but no big deal. Um, probably wrinkle coat it, but we'll see. Anyways, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, uh, comment. Think of anything else to uh, fab up and play around with or whatever uh, during this winter. Um, so, thanks for watching.